I got it that time. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. All right. So again, you, anyone want to remind me what the hell you've All been right. doing last so time? So we got the Growlithe. So we got the Growlithe last tried. time. Mm -hmm. Ugh. All right. So I'm gonna bring this up. Have any of you played the game Animal Crossing or any of the I've, Animal Crossing franchises? I've, it. I've never played it. So send your e hate mail to me as yet another Nintendo game I have. No, played. it's not a big. It's not a big deal. It's not one of the. It's you say it's not a big deal. It's not, it's not really marketed to people our like. <laughs> Especially guys our age. Yeah, but it's been around for a very long time. Yeah, but there have only been a couple I releases. I hear, oh. I've heard it's crazily addictive. It is something. incredibly addictive. Uh, I've been playing New Leaf for about a year and a half now. Yeah. Been yeah. about it like la you know, about yeah. last year, sometime. Mm -hmm. Almost maybe about a year. Who knows? School is fun, and so I've, is Pokemon. Yeah, I've put way yeah. too much time into that game. So here's my problem. Mm -hmm. This is a game that I, I physically should not, mentally should, and emotionally should not be playing. But you are anyways. But I am anyways. Here's the thing, I have a tendency to get way too attached to things, um, it is, as is my nature, so I tend to project personalities onto these little things. Uh, I get yeah. you. So I have, I have my town, uh, let's just put the Duke out there. And so I have this town, and I have a bunch of char characters who are like my dream characters. I love these characters, they're the ones that I wanted, they're the ones that I wanted. So I made a mistake. I didn't play. I didn't play for a couple days. So normally I'll check with a new character, so I don't have to save the status of my town. So in case yeah. someone moved out, I can go backwards in time. Uh, didn't do that. Oh jeez. And yesterday, one of my favorite characters moved out. Now, I am a 24-year-old, grown-ass man. I lift weights in my spare time. I try to be a little bit more manly than that. And I was an emotional wreck. For the rest of the day. Oh, that's got That's really sad. Because it was my little dog character, and it's just, it's, it goes. The I text my, yeah. I text my girlfriend. Um, why does everything I love leave me? Oh, well, that's right. I think she thought like, oh my god, what the hell happened? No, she, no, I told. No, her, she probably understood exactly where. Oh, okay. she probably she did because I told him like, oh no, I, I, I fucked up, and lucky, and lucky moved out. So. Here, but here's the thing: you can when it when it moves out, you can either ha you can have a ca you can have another person pick it up from mm -hmm. your town. So my girlfriend was going to do that. We did that today because I was, I was going to time travel back in time to when he was in what they call in boxes. So when he's still there, but he's already packed up and moving, you can't do anything at this point. No, you no. can't take them back. So I was going to send it to my girlfriend so she could hold on to him so I could at least visit for a little while. Mm. So we're going to do that today. Yours truly, because I went and tried to go back in time. At, to, to see if I could, if you I did, I want, because I turned, when I, the, moment I, the moment she said Lucky was leaving, before I even started the game, I turned it off to see if maybe my talent hadn't been fully generated. Yeah. Fuck that, it didn't work. Yeah. So what happened was, I had still, I still had my town a couple days prior, so I, I saved my town status with him not, not in boxes. Went to her town trying to get him passed off to her through the, what they call the void. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it didn't work. So he is that lucky as I knew him is gone forever. No, oh, that's not. Uh, there's hope, a small, small amount of hope. What you can do is you can cycle because once a villager moves, you can't just go and get him back from someone else because their whole trading sphere is online. Yeah. Which I usually frequent, especially on Reddit. Uh, but the catch is you have to move out 16 other villagers before that, and that's a long mm -hmm. process. Yeah. And you bet your ass. I'm gonna go. I've started today. That I'm gonna go and start one by one time traveling. I have a list of like, <laughs> and the reason you, I it took us a little longer to get started today is because I actually had to save a couple um, word documents. Yeah. Because I have a list of. Cause I'm gonna do it slowly. I have a list of villagers who I can't lose. Yeah. And I have a group of like three or four who are labeled acceptable sacrifices. <laughs> <laughs> Acceptable sacrifice. So, and I'm gonna go through the cycling routine to try to, I'm gonna try to keep my casualties to a minimum. But mm. I hope in a couple weeks, but yes, I'm gonna have that my dog back. I even gave it a name. It's saved under my Dropbox. You can see it when we're done. It's Operation Get Best Buddy Back, or Operation Get Buddy Back. <laughs> Get Buddy Back. He's my buddy. He's my best buddy. <laughs> This some tell me this is gonna be like this big journey you're gonna be going on. It's gonna be it's gonna be a religious as close to a religious experience as I'm ever gonna go through. <laughs> All right, who do we want to bring? Who do we want to level up? Arn Jesus. Yeah, let's keep, uh, yeah, let's keep, uh, let's keep uh, Shadow. Yeah, Shadow try to get Shadow up because I mean he's got to get to what almost fifty before he becomes an Arcanine. Yeah, but we're not. I mean, he, like no, we're gonna use the we can use the Firestone. He's not gonna be viable for us. I just want to level him up. Oh, Arcanine's not good. I thought he was. Nah, it's got the problem. It's got the same. It's got the Gyarados problem in this game where it's got a high attack stat but only really uses special moves. Oh. Uh, 
so no, he's gonna. It doesn't get anything like a slash or. A... It doesn't matter. It's it loses the same type bonus. Natural. So, yeah, let's put out. I don't know. Let's put out Jefferson. So yeah, but it, he'll be replaced quickly because we're gonna get like Gasoline and Haunter, Haunter and things like that. And then True. once mm -hmm. we hit Savar, once we hit Safari Zone, we're gonna get a lot of our. A lot of our late game team is going to be established once we get to Safari Zone. Out of curiosity, who's in our late team game right now? Of, I want to say of who, we ha of who we have. The only surefire 110% Pokemon that's staying with us through the battle with Eric is the Duke right now. Okay. Uh, the runner up, one who I who we're kind of on the fence about, is Arn Jesus because mm -hmm. he can be easily be replaced with either a. I think. I'm debating between like Starmie, which would give us some water type coverage, yeah. Chansey, which is huge special attack, and I don't know. I'm gonna stick with let's say with those two for now. Maybe Executor, yeah, because that's a great it's a great lead, and that'll end up also replacing Jefferson in our main party. Um, so that's kind of what that's kind of how things are shaping up to be. So the Duke and R and Jesus are kind of our top priority right now. Yeah. And if you guys didn't notice, I wonder. Did you respond to me? No. I did actually send Eric a text message today because this is today, hopefully if he's not, you know, above meeting with us today, this is where I'm gonna just hand him Pokemon Yellow if he doesn't have a game, be like, just do something. Yeah. I mean, I'm shocked he, we really haven't been able to, like, get in touch with him. Yeah. It sucks because the way our release schedule works is we won't be seeing this one, this video come out until probably June unless I increase the amount of videos we release a week. Yeah, yeah. that all depends on, you know, how far in advance? Yeah. Not even the demand, just how so, far ahead we get with this. Yeah, true. So the time you see this video may or may not be outdated for what we are talking about. No, because we're going to try to keep this away from yeah. no, uh, I understand. current issues, current I understand. events. Which, oh, God, I thought he fainted there for a second. No, like, wait, I, just used, I just used dig. Oh, yeah. I was like, wait, what? So yeah, uh, I'm actually I'm really looking forward to it. I'm not sure if it'll be in this recording session, the next mm -hmm. one of the next two, is once we get to Safari Zone. We get some of the great Pokemon. It so might be. It might be. We might get to. Safari we're gonna get, comes before we're. It's right. It's the next badge. So oh, we're gonna go. Th to it. We're gonna go through the Celadon. We have to, but we have to go through the Rocket Hideout in Celadon City. Oh, we have to go through yeah. Lavender Town, beat the beat the Grass type gym, and then go down Cycling Road. Oh god. It's gonna be. It'll, we'll cut it cro close. I think probably in the next time we meet. Why did I put this out? It's not gonna do jack shit to a Pidgey. But you could just hit it in the face or something. That's what we're gonna do. It's gonna get flat in the face with the reek. Just poison it. Cause tackle, I don't know how strong it is on this. <laughs> tackle, I would think, would do quite a bit considering so it's thirty-two. <laughs> no, but the thing is, tackle such a low base power move doesn't really do much. True. Yeah. Hmm. Eh, all right. Yeah. It's just that level difference. That's yeah, I yeah, that's what I mean. I'm not, I'm not used to having such a large. That's why I figured that I wouldn't make that level much disparity. Of a well, because I mean, you think about it, Jefferson's 32, our Jesus is 29, uh, the Duke is 30. Yeah. I mean, Cornwallis is 21. 29. Uh, 24, 24, 24. I'm sorry. 29, 24. I can't see anymore. Jeez. No, I got my glasses on. I can't see anything either. That is such an ugly fucking sprite. Yeah, it is. So yeah, I'm thinking, because we didn't really talk much about what our plans for late game team are. I've got a couple that I want de who are definite, 110% yeah. yeah, mainstays. Definitely. The Duke is one of them. Safari Zone, we're definitely taking the Tauros out of there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's at least two. We've got a really powerful normal type. We've got a really power. We've got our defensive rock ground type. Yeah. Uh, the special attacker is going to come down to our preference. I'm leaning towards... Chansey would be really fucking cheap. Well, not cheap, but Chansey's just... It's pretty kind good. of OP in this game. And Tauros is the, probably the most OP that I'm going with. This is that it's really cliche. it's incredibly cliche. It's best. It was an incredibly powerful Pokemon in the red versus red, blue, yellow era. Um, one of my favorites, which is why I'm actually pulling it out on. Yeah, Tauros. I mean, I, I remember what they are. Damn it. Let me just, just I never knew they were that good. Oh, they were only ever really good in red, blue, yellow. Mm. Absolute trash in the rest of the games. Of course. But I really liked Taurus, so what happened was they gave it a hidden ability. Because we talked about that earlier. You know what yeah. they are. With that kind of third ability nonsense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So they gave it a really good third ability back in Pokemon Black and White. Mm -hmm. But you could only get it by doing this online mini game crap. Oh. I oh. spent an entire I spent so much time over that summer trying to get it, and I couldn't until some until some hero online traded one to me. Nice. Oh my God. Oh, it was so it was so great. I might actually might breed another one well, on uh, 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 Omega Ruby or something like that. So I like. I can actually help you with that now if you need help. Not yet, but I mean I'm getting there. No, I've been I've been doing a lot of like Pokemon breeding and things like that for. So I've been doing like the like RNG abuse breeding for stats since like generation since like 2009 during Diamond and Pearl when I was doing my, like at my best. Wow. Yeah, you should see. I'll show it to you later when we're done with this. I've got boxes and boxes of competitively perfect Pokemon. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I can clone some too from the late, earlier generations if you want, like a really powerful Mewtwo or a really powerful Raikou or some crap like uh, that. Well, I wanna, I wanna probably beat it first before I start going into all yeah, of that. Yeah, I, I did something. I did something a little, uh, a little cheap with Omega Ruby when I first played it. So I had played Ruby and Sapphire before. Yeah. So this is the guy we had, we'd use if we wanted another Mew, but. I'm not really feeling it, so... Screw it! Right, so I was saying, I did something really cheap with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Since I, since I played Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire before, I said, fuck it. I want to go through this, like, a god amongst men. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I can't, like, look at you guys and then not see the screen. Mm -hmm. So I went in yeah, through... Fine. So what I did is, before the release, I went on X and Y, and I looked at... I, uh... I look at him like, alright, fuck it. I'm, I mean, I knew what I was going to start. I was going to start tree coat, so I always start grass type. Yeah. More often than not. So I bred a perfect tree coat. They had a special event going on during the first week where you got the a shiny Beldum that evolves into Metagross. Okay. It was shiny and it came with its uh, Mega Stone. So I have two of them now for whatever reason. So I'm like, fuck it. I bred a perfect shiny Beldum. Oh my god. I looked at the Pokemon, the other Pokemon I wanted to use. They came out with another one. Like I told you earlier, Pidgey was on my. Pidgeot was on. Pidgeot? Pidgeot? Pidgeot. Uh, Pidgeot. Something like that. I don't know. Again, pronunciation, not my thing. Yes. Yeah. That got a Mega Stone, so I just. I'm like, fuck it. Bred a perfect Pidgey. Perfect shiny Pidgey, which is. And I just went through. First first town of the game, with the, as soon as you could trade, I caught a bunch of gutter trash Pokemon, sent it over. Oh they were my all god. level 1 and. I mean, granted, they were all level one, but they were all EV trained. They were all perfect, like internal values. And I'm just like, I'm gonna go. And I just own the world. I sped through that game, but it was fun because I got to go through really early on with Pokemon you can't get. True. So I just, I'm just like, I can get this because normally you don't get, can't catch Pidgeys. I think you can get the Mega Stone early. And I just royally fucked the Duke. Yeah. yeah. It's a water type. I'm not. You can tell I'm just kind of. I'm on, I can't speak and play at the same time, apparently. You still got him. Yeah, I got him. Well, that's because we completely overpowered this thing. Yeah, he's pretty stupid. Yeah. I want to get him to 30. I think like 36 or something where he starts getting. Uh, where he gets Earthquake or something like that. Something yeah, when he gets Earthquake, time. it's over. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was, my, that was my Pokemon Omega Ruby experience. I just had. I trade out my starter for level one perfect Trico, and I'm just, I just blow through the game. I'm trying to think whether or not I think maybe for one of them I sent the egg over the ones that weren't shiny, so they didn't have too much bonus experience. But it was never a problem. No. no. So, I, and you know what? Because it, it made a fun experience going through a game I've technically already played or played once. Yes. Because instead of having to go through like the random early level Hoenn Pokemon, you just like, here, here's a group of my favorites. I'm starting with them, and away we go. So yeah, I'm in that stage right now because obviously I only played a very, very little bit of um, Alpha Sapphire right now. Okay. Um, it's really different because I don't I recognize like Alpha Pokemon. Pokemon. Like I'm looking at them, it's like I don't know what the hell any of these do. Yeah, but that's a great place to be in there. Like, I haven't had that feeling since, I think, X and Y, because I stayed relatively under the radar for X and Y, but generally mm -hmm. I know, but even still with X and Y, I still know, like, what 90% of these, or more of these Pokemon are, because I've played all the games. Yeah. Like, this game, like, the first time I played through Pokemon Red, the first time I played a Pokemon game ever, was a great experience, because you just, like, 
this is my favorite not because I know it's a good Pokemon, but this is favorite because... It just looks cool. It's just cool. Yeah. Hmm. Granted, my idea of cool will always be a little one-sided. Well, my favorite Pokemon in red, like, I use... Uh, let's see, I used Zapdos, because I just thought he looked just rocking. Jolteon, too, I really liked. Um... See, it's like right there, you're already like, that's where you're off the bat, I'd be screwed if I faced anybody. That's where your love of lightning came from. Yeah, right? Shut the f You know what? I had a good two years where that just wasn't part of my, like, my thought <laughs> process. <laughs> I want to go and I had a good. Else. I had a good time. Life was good. I was happy. <laughs> See, and then I you like come along, you bring that shit up. <laughs> I, did, I did use a golem, but I had to use the Pokemon Stadium version because I didn't have a link cable. It was, you know, it was kind of sad, because it's like, I really thought it was awesome, and I could never get it. Um, what else? I'm trying to think what else I know. Oh, I did have a Blastoise. Yeah. Because that's the one, obviously, I picked at the beginning. Yeah, I'm trying to think of my... I can, I can actually remember most of my... A lot of my original team from Pokemon Red and Blue. Because we had the neighborhood kids, so I had a Link Cable. I had all that yeah. stuff. So I went through, I think my original team consisted of... I started I started Bulbasaur because I thought I, I got Pokemon Blue be, Pokemon Red because I thought Bulbasaur was so cool. Hmm. Like for whatever reason I, I I loved it more. Like I didn't get into the Charmander and the Charizard hype. Yeah, I didn't get into that either. I, I loved Squirtle. Yeah, so I so I got I had I had a Venusaur. I had I had Pidgeot. I had Gold. I did I had Golem as well. Um, I think I used Articuno. See, I want to say Articuno is a good mix, though. Flying Ice? Because it takes away one of the weaknesses of flying. No, it does. What would we... Oh, it takes away... It makes the ice weakness neutral, but it, gain, it's, it gains a... The fire weakness. It's also, like, four times unaffected. Like, rock type hits it, like, four times as hard. That's right, rock and ice. Is the other bad. problem with that is in the later games, they introduce, like, entry hazards. Mm -hmm. And there's one called Stealth Rock that does rock type damage. So it, so it would take, like... 50% damage every time it switches in Ugh. from stealth rocks because I think, yeah, I'm fairly sure that the rock destroys ice type. That sounds about right. Yeah, mass, that would be a massive faux pas if I got that wrong. Yeah. I mean, I'll go with you on that because. Yeah, because none of you know any better. No, I don't know any better, so. Oh, we're Welcome in Cell Line City. I wonder if there's like a cheat or a glitch I can use to get the coin so we can get your teeny early. Oh, speaking of glitches, while I have you, there's a Safari Zone glitch that allows you uh, to get the Pokemon rather easily, so you don't have to use, like, Safari Balls. We're going to go through Safari Zone, we're going to try our damage to get it legitimately. My goal is to have, once we beat um, Fuchsia City Gym, I am going to go behind the scenes at the next break, s avoid the trainers, and surf down to Cinnabar Island. And I will go and catch the Safari Zone Pokemon we need because uh, they're. Oh, shit, I need to drop off a Pokemon before I do this. We're, I'm just gonna go grab a Pokemon and know where it is. And that'll be enough for one episode. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we're gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be a little cheeky because I don't wanna spend three videos looking for a Tauros that yeah, runs away immediately yeah. and has like a 4% chance at max of showing up. But we won't get area. to see your sad face again. Listen, we're gonna like I said, we're gonna try the Safari Zone once because we'll we, yeah. we'll we'll we need because we need to go in there to get we'll get our sadness coverage. So so we need to go in there to do some other things. Oh, send him away. All right, Shadow, we had a good time. I'm getting rid of him for a reason. You're picking one up, I assume. Picking right? something up. Something. Yep. Is it Mister Mine? No. Go fill the silence while I, while I do this, because otherwise I'm going to go going down the same set of stairs like three times. Oh, I remember this part. Shut the fuck up. Jay doesn't know what it is. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Hey, dude, I'm just going to come in <clears throat> your house and steal your Eevee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Are you yep. kidding me? <laughs> Next time? No, we got to get a name. Oh, that's right. Uh, oh, just going to call it Eevee. Look at me, I'm Kyle. I'm just no call creep. whatever. Yeah, I don't care. If you literally call him whatever, that'd be amazing. Fuck you, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's gonna be whatever the eventual Jolteon. And I'm not happy about that, because Jolteon's awesome. Knowing that it's a Jolteon. If it, if it, if 
Well, knowing that it's a Jolteon, do you still want this to be whatever? Nah, no. Jolteon's awesome. I know, it's... Oh... Uh, giving you an option, giving you the moment, because I'm taking this out of my hands, because I've, I've kind of named the last... Yeah, last quite a few Jolteon's of kind of Pokemon, so he should... Oh, be. God, you're making me name something. I'm terrible with names. I don't give a shit. Ugh. You had all week to prepare for this, knowing that we were going to catch at least one Pokemon during this. Yeah, but this. I didn't know it would be a Jolteon. Like, the other ones I don't give a rat's ass about. Well, Lottie fucking da. Today's your day, <laughs> jackass. Lottie fucking da. That don't fit, unfortunately. I wouldn't say that. Listen, I, I don't care. I don't care that we're at the 20 minutes mark. I'll stay here all day. I'll stay here for the rest of the evening. We'll have a four-hour upload. I don't give a shit. A <laughs> four-hour upload of just me that means, that, means more, yeah. that means more work for you and more... But more waiting time for you to render the video. I don't give a shit. Okay, fine. I'll b I've got I've got two weeks worth of time traveling to Animal Crossing. You, I'll just throw my computer on and go try to fix my own personal sadness. <laughs> okay, I'm already I'm already a miserable wreck. It's his turn. What well, uh, what a fancy name haven't we done yet? I don't know. Listen, no, I'm I do even if I had a fancy name, I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> I don't. That was that was more of a me thinking out loud. Reginald. There you go. <laughs> Fantastic. That was actually worth the wait. <laughs> Is it with an A? Uh, yeah, it's an A at the end. There you go. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm cool. I'm actually absolutely thrilled about this. Yeah, I didn't see all your EV at all. Nah, no, bro, don't worry about it. Alright, dude. We're going to flee the scene of the crime, and we will see you all next time. Next time? Pokemon Red? Next time. Yes, yes. next time. Yes, yes, next time. Yes, that. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to make sure. No, fuck that. We'll see. We won't see you next time, but we'll see you the time after that. Okay, That's then. true. We're going to let somebody come in and just, like, they're going to do the next video. What they? God damn it. <laughs> you want truffles to it. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Get my dog in here. Yeah. 20 minutes of barking. <laughs>